All right, we're tracking windy conditions again today, although not quite as breezy as it was yesterday. So again, it's not blowing snow. It's going to be those winds, uh, crosswinds, especially if you're traveling on the north or southbound roadway here today. So uh, we can expect a lot of sunshine, uh, but these northwest winds are likely going to keep high temperatures to the mid-20s today, and it's going to feel like the teens, maybe even the single digits. So uh, really seeing our return back to January weather here in the uh, upper Midwest. Now, as you get into Thursday morning, winds rapidly diminish. So despite having cooler temperatures, it's probably going to feel a little warmer here tomorrow tomorrow morning, and we'll start this warming trend again as we're back to the upper 20s and low 30s here on Thursday afternoon. Now, as we get into, say, Friday night and Saturday morning, that's when we're tracking a little system that's going to bring snow from south to north, and both of our main models, GFS and European model, agree that we're going to see mainly a light snow event here in the KWQC viewing area. In terms of how much uh, the highest amounts are going to be south of the Quad Cities. It's really a system between the Quad Cities and St. Louis that's going to see the heaviest snow amounts. One to four inches from Burlington into Galesburg, so enough to shovel. A dusting up to two inches in the Quad Cities and generally less than an inch once you get north of Highway 30. So bottom line, if you have travel plans here early Saturday morning, look for some slippery travel, something that you'll want to keep a close eye on. And I have to imagine we'll probably have some winter weather advisories issued for this event. So a kind of a low impact event, but something that we'll be watching closely. Uh, much warmer here in the next week. Lots of sunshine highs in the upper 30s to near 40 by Monday and Tuesday.